What's up guys, welcome back to today's video. Got the E36 and it is time to tear into it and tear it apart. I have good old Mamano here. First things first, we are going to get started remove as much garbage and junk from the inside of the car as possible and then I'm going to strip the interior because we absolutely have some rust repair we have to do. Get right to work. You guys still don't know what we're doing with this car yet but I'm assuming you'll kind of be able to figure it out over the car in detail but let's get the interior stripped out. All right we may have gotten a little carried away with ourselves but no surprises yet. Although this is all the stuff we pulled out of the car. Um, the rot back here is really not that bad, but I wanted to pick the camera back up because I know as soon as we pull the carpet out, the rot is going to be <laughs> unmanageable. Wish us luck. All right, Chris, you ripping? You start pulling? I'm ripping and ripping, bro. Start pulling. Oh, 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 I can see it from here. Oh, do you know what we're gonna have to do on that side, Chris? Chris, we're gonna have to do the gas pedal. Okay. One moment, please. <laughs> All right, Chris, give us the damage report. <laughs> Let me see how bad this thing is. Because it's bad. I already know it's bad. Oh, this side's not that bad, though. It's only on the outside. Oh, yeah. It's uh, uh, <laughs> no way dude it's really not that bad i can <laughs> i think you need a better angle it's not that let's, uh, let's straight you here get the carpet out rip the carpet out and then we'll be then I'll, you just gotta you're gonna have to hammer it there's a there's a, there's a screw there's there. a screw okay. there yeah all right 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 now ladies yeah uh do you have that big Ugh. i just touched something oh. Oh, this is uh, do you have a disgusting. Nope. I do have a revolver shift knob oh, if you'd perfect. like it. Next order, place on 144racing.com gets revolver shift knob. Just kidding. This thing's going in the garbage. Or I might use it. You never know. Just pull it, Chris. Pull it like a boy. But I'm also overextended. <laughs> I'm overextended, man. What do you want from me? It does smell good. Get that Phoenix air freshener, baby. I, I gotta get that screw out. I'm gonna get this thing out. Get out of my damn way. Watch this. Watch this, boys. The real professional step in. You ready, Chris? Yeah. Uh, we really don't need this anymore. No, no, no. That. Oh God. I took the floor with it. Dude, what? That's so bad. Oh my. God. God. Well, looks like we're using a stop sign for our floorboard. What did I get myself into? Think about it this way, you have air conditioning. It's so rotted. <laughs> oh my God, dude, it's so bad. Look at that. Well. I mean, it's not that. It's pretty bad. Thankfully, I only have to use this car for roughly a week. And then if I like it, I can reshell it or throw it in the woods. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's keep going. Good morning. Picking this back up where I left off. It's a fresh day and uh, I've had time to think about the mistakes that I've made buying this damn car. It has a purpose, so I'm not super upset with it, but I have my buddy Jeff coming over, who if you remember a few videos ago, is gonna help me take a look at the rust and see what he can help me repair. Unfortunately, I leave tomorrow morning for a quick weekend trip to Indianapolis, so I'll be documenting that as well. Uh, we're going to PRI, it should be really cool, but I also have a, a tour of a facility that I really want to show you guys also. Anyway, we have the bed loaded to the absolute brim with interior parts that we have to go get rid of now. We have to stop at Wiring Specialties and pick up my new harness for the JZX, which I will explain everything to you guys. It's really neat. I think you guys will enjoy the process of how they do it, but let's get a picture of the car, get on the road, get rid of this stuff, stop at Wiring Specialties, meet up with Jeff, and then we'll take a look at the car and see exactly what we absolutely need to fix. I'm not fixing all the rust, but I want floor pans and possibly jack points back in the car, so 
Let's see what Jeff can do to give us a hand. We'll get the thing back in the garage and try to make it happen because we leave, I get home, and then I leave right again for this thing we're doing. <laughs> you guys already know. I don't know why I'm not telling you, but if you know, you know, you'll figure out what we're, what we're doing with the car. Ah, good morning. Let's get to freaking work, baby. Also, just so you can see, this is all E36 shit. Probably weighs 600 pounds. The carpet was so heavy and soggy. But it's going in the freaking garbage. I'm done with it. I don't want anything to do with it. Like I said, if I end up really enjoying this car, stock power and stuff, I might swap it to a new chassis or I might fall in love with this chassis and keep it forever. Who knows? Made it back to wiring specialties. Gonna head in, see what Earl cooked up for us. I know they took one of their pro 1JZ harnesses and modified it for my application, but see if we can get him to explain exactly what they did. And maybe I'll see if I can get a discount code for you guys because that would be really nice. What's up, Earl? We're back, baby. It's only been it's only been a couple weeks, but I've been out of town, so it's not that big of a deal. And you guys had to do I think you had to do some was this like a little bit of an R&D thing for you guys with this harness? I, I was saying this might be a little bit of an R&D thing. I know that the JZX90 harnesses aren't like in full production yet, right? But you guys still do offer them? Yeah, so we are offering 90 and 100 harnesses. Yeah. A lot of the harnesses that we're gonna be doing are for aftermarket ECUs. Okay. Which require this little box that I think I showed you. Yeah, you did show time. us last yeah. time, yeah. yeah. So Grant did not require that because he's using the Link plugin. Okay, so interesting. What's what the main oh, difference This thing is. looks so good, dude. Grant's car, he's gonna have the other two ECU connectors. In the chassis, in right? In the chassis. Yeah, so okay. So what our box does is basically bridges the link from the chassis to our harness. So okay. Since you don't have it in there, well, you're not gonna need it because you're gonna use your factory ones. So the only thing he's gonna have to plug in in the car is basically these oh, connections. So the sick. So you guys made it 100% plug and play. Yep. Amazing. And everything will work just like a factory one. Okay. You know, we can kind of lay it out. Yeah, yeah. And you guys even added in, which I thought this was interesting. So this is the factory style firewall boot, right? But you said that they also share the same with the Supra, I yep. believe, Supra, right? Supra, uh, SC300. Oh, cool. A lot of the pickups, a lot of the Toyota stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very similar. Uh, the other day I did drop off my Link plug and play ECU with the case and I know you did more for me than you probably should have, but I appreciate it because I didn't drill any holes in the damn thing yet, but that's all right. I can get them drilled out and put in. So what I did is I routed it over here so you can kind of drill in this area. Okay, cool. And it'll pop out and then so good, I put dude. a connector on it for you. Oh, you're the best. So these will plug in here. Okay. And then the other two will be on your body. On the body, yep. And then this is the signals we're using. So this is like your can. Okay. This is your oil pressure, fuel pressure. Good, uh, dude. Your R35 coils. Yep. And then you wanted a factory IAT. Yep. So we've got a factory Damn, IAT. dude. You guys hooked it up. And then you got a boost controller out here. Yep. And there's a pigtail for that. So that's for the Mac valve for the uh, electronic boost controller because we will be using the link to adjust boost control. Yep. And then we've got, uh, I put a fan controller in so you can use so a dual fan. So good, kit. dude. If anybody wants one of these, what do they have to do? Um, so the product is live on the site now. Okay. Oh, cool. So um, we do need your core harness though because these connectors are unavailable currently. Okay. So, so like what I did. So this is my my old engine harness here. So basically they would just ship you the engine harness. I guess you guys know where to go. I'll leave the link down below if you guys want one of these harnesses. They'll make them for any ECU, any injectors, right? Yep. Pretty much anything you fully want. Fully custom. So, all right, let's go home and get this thing in the car. All right, I did it, boys. If you guys missed Wiring Specialties Black Friday sale, um, I got them to give me a code. It's code GRANT. It'll be on the screen here. I'll also put it in the description down below along with Wiring Specialties link. If you guys need a harness, accessories, anything wiring related, make sure to check them out. And this link will be good, I think, for like about only two weeks. So if you miss Black Friday, make sure you go grab it before Christmas. They can do anything you want. Custom harnesses, 
off the shelf harnesses, etc. So massive shout out to wiring specialties. Thank you guys so much. Thank you Earl for busting butt and getting this harness done. Let's go get it in the car. Back to work on this shit box. Look at, oh God, it's really bad. It's got sweet hood problems. <laughs> Look at how bad this is. Thankfully, my local fabricator welder friend Jeffrey is here to give me a hand. I think we're gonna weld some four by four box steel in place of the rocker panel so the seat doesn't fall out through the... Let me get this ratty fab front bash bar on and uh, so we can get the car jacked up in the air because I can't jack it up from any other spot. All right, so this thing was definitely in a crash because that is, there's nothing left, but let's see if we even come close to fitting. We're only get half inch off over here. What about over there? Are we on the stuff it's over there? Spots, yeah. After about what feels like forever, the front end is back on and together. I got the Ratty Fab front bash bar on and I blacked out the driver's side headlight because I think it looks cool and it's not gonna work, so whatever. But front end's on, we got it pretty straight. Jeff made this crazy plate for the frame rail because we didn't have one. And now we are working on the floor pan here. I'm gonna go on the other side, Jeff. Can you pull that plate out so we can show them how bad the rot actually is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my, dude, there's literally nothing left, dude. What the fuck? Seam sealers holding it together. Literally holding it together. So he actually brought some scrap metal. I was gonna use a street sign or something, but he brought this like, how thick do you think that is? an eighth yeah. that ends up fitting freaking perfectly in there so we're gonna knock out all the rot clean up the area and then he's gonna weld it in so I have a floor pan again and I don't scuff my shoes trying to drive this thing <laughs> making progress though making freaking progress the garage is an absolute bomb look at all the rust that came out of this thing wait, no. wait <laughs> yeah but then we're putting a 30 pound piece of steel in oh my <laughs> Dude, the rockers are so bad. so bad on this thing. Good thing we have side skirts to cover them. You'll never know. Glad Jeff came up because I I would have done some questionable shit. The seat probably would have fallen out of this thing. It would have been oh, bad. <laughs> oh yeah, this, the, the back left seat bracket is literally held on by seam sealer, seam sealer at this point. So we're gonna fix that also. Get this thing good to go. It's not gonna be forever car, but at least it'll be safe for me to drive. We'll have to worry about the seat falling through the floor. <laughs> All right, just had a phone call. You got this pretty cleaned out. You want me to, you want me to finish up for you here, Jeffrey? Yeah, <laughs> Dude, I've been friends with Jeff my whole life and every time I touch a power tool, he's like, get out of my way. Let I, he knows how reckless I am, so. What are you thinking, Jeffrey? I'm gonna clean it all up, obviously, but this, I'm gonna put this piece of angle in here. Oh, like inside, this. okay. Inside, plug weld it, and then oh, the floor panel will seat right sick. onto it. And that also gives me a base to put that three inch tube in. I'm gonna use that three inch tube and run it. Oh, really? <laughs> You're rebuilding the rocker? Yeah. Sick. I don't want to clear All right, well, he's doing that. I got this LTW replica wing. I was gonna put it on my E36, but I think it's a perfect fit for this car. So I'm gonna throw this on. Eh, I'll do I'll do a mm, I'll do an okay job putting this on. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do a good job. I'll do an okay job. I'm definitely not painting it either. So let's get this thing thrown on. <laughs> All right, don't mind the mess. But we have our new rocker panel here, and I would say. Jeff does a little better of a job welding than I do, especially to this dirty ass mat. So this is going inside the old rocker panel up in here, and then this is getting welded to the inside of the rocker panel. So it'll tie it all together. It's also getting welded to the rear seat bracket. So it'll be all tied together, good to go. 
We don't have to worry about falling out of the car, like I said. <laughs> but oh, I didn't show the, I didn't show you guys. I got the wing on, and these wheels are really throwing off the vibe of the car. But I think the wing looks pretty good. I'm gonna paint it black. But boom, real hot rod now. Got an LTW rep wing on it. <laughs> Sick. And I used almost all of the hardware too, so. That ain't going nowhere. All right, well, Jeff is welding in the rocker panel that he made. I'm gonna throw the new wiring specialties harness in the JZX. Let's get one more thing done before I leave, because I leave in like eight hours for a war. PRI, Indianapolis, Indiana. If you're there, make sure you come say what's up. We'll be there for a few days. My first time, so I'm really excited. I heard the scootering downtown Indy is a freaking blast, so I'm pumped. Let's get this harness thrown in though. See if I can do some YouTube magic. You ready? Just like that. Coil pack harness is in, tucked away nicely. Injector harness is in, got it ran through the firewall. Um, there's still a few things I can't hook up here, obviously, throttle body. And then on this side, we have what do we have? ECT, crank sensor. We have a few things we have to hook up down there, but for how many wires there were, I literally got this thing roughed in in like 15 minutes. So like I said, if you guys want one of these, code GRANT for the next, I believe, two weeks. We'll get you 10% off any Wiring Specialties product. Link down below. Let's see how Jeff's making out. All right, Jeffrey's testing his work. Jacking up on the new rocker panel. Wow, dude. Good. That's impressive, dude. Oh. <laughs> there you go. All right, so while I was working on the JZX, Jeff got our new floor pan in, welded in all nice and pretty. Uh, he also got, he also has angle iron down here for this. I'm gonna fix this. I'm just gonna put some sheet metal over that. Give me one second, I'll show you the rocker panel because that came out the freaking coolest. All right, so it's gonna be hard to see, but basically, what is this, two by two box steel, Jeff? Three by three. So we have three by three box steel all throughout the entire rocker, because this rocker was so rotted. He drilled it and rosette welded it through the, what left there was of this rocker, but and then also has angle iron for the seat bracket, angle iron for the floor pan. It came out so good. This is like best case, Best case scenario for the most rotted car I've ever seen. If this thing ends up working out, we'll keep this chassis for a little bit and then we'll swap it to one that's not literally rusting in half. All right, let's get this place cleaned up and get the fuck out of here. All right, and just like that, we got the garage all packed up because we're heading to Indy tomorrow morning. So next video you guys see, I have something really cool planned. Hope you guys are excited. I'm back on track, baby. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're excited for this shitty E36 content, let me know in the comments down below. See you guys in maybe two days.